everybody, and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every single time. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got you covered. Before we get into some Major League Baseball action for um, May 15th, I want to invite you to join us. So you have access to the VIP Club section, which has all the tools to help you make your picks. Okay, so we're going to get into some, to some Major League games here. It's a full uh, schedule. We're going to look at five of the games. The first one we want to look at is the Angels and the Orioles. The Angels come in ice cold down, losers of their last two and two and four of their last six. While the Orioles are burning hot, they have won their last two and are three and three over their last six games. If you look at the over-under, you can see that the Angels have been involved in games over the line in five of the last six, while the Orioles have been under in four of their last six and in each of their last four. The score predictor has Baltimore ran eight to three score, <clears throat> excuse me, with about 34% of the confidence in the prediction. If we take a look at the power ranks indicator, the teams are clearly in the opposite uh, trends here. Baltimore was at plus nine. They have skyrocketed to 26, while the Angels were at 18. They have dipped significantly down to four just over the last few days. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchups, the teams have not yet played this season. This is the first meeting. If you take a look at the stability factor, how consistent are they with regard to their favorite underdog status? You can see that both teams are very consistent, plus... Uh, 12 for Baltimore and plus 8 for the Angels, or the Angels have not been quite as consistent lately over the last couple of weeks. So in the end, though, I like Baltimore at home, but I would, would pass on the over-under. Okay, the next game we want to look at is uh, the Yankees and the Blue Jays, both these teams in the AL East. Both teams are playing not their best ball, uh, but the Yankees are 4-2 over the last game, the last uh, six, but they did, are coming off an 8-2 loss. To Tampa Bay, while the Blue Jays have lost their last two and they are averaged down. If you look at the over under, the Yankees have been involved in games over in each of the last five, while the Blue Jays have been over in four of the last six. So you would expect a higher scoring game in this one. The score prediction has uh, New York four and Toronto one with confidence in prediction of about 47%. Uh, but as you see there, that's less than a toss of a coin, so take that with a grain of salt. If you look at the power ranks in the care, both teams on the downward trend. New York was at 27. They dipped it to 14, while Toronto was at 25. They have dipped down to plus 7. Okay, so if you take a look at the head-to-head uh, -head matchup, you can see that the three games they played this season, uh, New York has won two and Toronto has won one. They were in New York. And if we take a look now at the stability factor, how consistent have the two teams been, you can see that... Uh, if this wants to load up, yeah, New York plus 14 compared to plus 6 for Toronto. Both teams pretty stable, but New York much more stable than uh, Toronto. Toronto was up as high as plus 8 back on April 29th. So in the end, though, I like the Yankees in a game under the line. Okay, so the next one we want to look at is Milwaukee and St. Louis. In the NL Central, you see both these teams have been not playing their best ball lately. Milwaukee ice cold down, losers of the last two, two and four of the last six. Uh, St. Louis average down, coming off of a loss in three and three over the last six. If you take a look at the over under, both teams have been involved in games over the line more often than not over their last six. Nine of the last 12 games between uh, combined between the two teams have been over the line. Um, the score predictor has St. Louis by a nine to two score with 45% level of confidence in prediction. That has actually changed a little bit since I looked at just briefly a little while ago where it was at 43% confidence. If you take a look at the power ranks indicator, both teams are on the same similar trend downward, completely downward from 28 down to 4 for St. Louis and from 24 down to uh, 6 for Milwaukee. And this is just over the last few days. Um, have the teams met yet this season? Let's take a look. They have, earlier in the season, there were three games in Milwaukee, and you see that St. Louis won two of them. Actually, no, actually, Milwaukee that won two of them. So Milwaukee two and one over St. Louis uh, in the last three. Okay, so if we take a look at the stability factor, the volatility oscillator, you can see on this chart, neither team has been very stable. Um, in fact, Milwaukee was pretty consistent for a while. They're, they're up at plus three in, early in the season. Now they have dipped down to minus two, while St. Louis is at plus two. So neither team very consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status. In the end, though, I like St. Louis to win this one at home. Look for a higher scoring game over the line. 
Um, the next one we want to look at is the Cubs and Astros. Houston is playing better ball lately. They had lost three in a row, um, two to Seattle, one to Los Angeles, but now they've won the previous two against Los Angeles, so they're burning hot at the moment, while the Cubs are average status, coming off of a three-game losing streak with a win. In the over-under, you can see that the teams have been involving games over the line seven of the last 12, so pretty pretty much even with regard to over and under. And the score predictor has a lower scoring game, 6-1 to one in favor of Houston. But look at the confidence in the prediction, only 31%. That's actually down from 35% from just a little while ago when I looked at it. Um, on the power ranks indicator, Houston on an upward trend at plus 13. While the Cubs are still very low at plus 3. They've been that way for the last couple of days. Head-to-head, -head, the teams have not played. Uh, since 2019, so it's a long time coming for this matchup. Um, stability factor, you can see both teams have been very inconsistent with regards to their fair underdog stats. Woeful, in fact, both at minus four. So in the end, what I think is going to happen here is a Houston win, but I would pass on the over-under bet on this one. Okay, so we have one more game we want to look at here, and... It's going to be Philadelphia and San Francisco. Philadelphia comes in burning hot, winners of their last three, while San Francisco's average status coming off of a win, but just three and three over their last six. If you look at the over-under, you can see that, uh, well, the teams have been involved in games on opposite sides of the line, really. Philadelphia, two of their last three under, but four out of their last six have been over, while San Francisco, four out of their last six have been under. Uh, Bailey Falter is scheduled to pitch for the Phillies. He is having a very, very rough season, 0-6 with a high 5.75 ERA and a very poor bet right now at minus $346. If you take a look at the power ranks indicator, Philadelphia are a steep upward trend. They're at plus 24, while the Giants have taken a little skid over the last couple of days from 23 down to 16. Head-to-head, -head, the teams have not yet met this season. Um, if you look at the stability factor, Philadelphia has been much more consistent, although up and down, but still in the end for the season, plus five compared to minus one for the Giants, who have been very inconsistent, and pretty much that way all year. Their high mark for the season was only at plus one. So I'm looking at here at the score prediction now of eight to three for Philadelphia with confidence in prediction of relatively high 64%, considering the game is not yet until Monday. In the end, I think this is going to be a Phillies win on the road, but I'm going to pass on the over-under bet. So there you go. There you have it for Major League Baseball for the games for May the 15th. Happy betting, and we will see you again next time.